So, what is happening on September the 24th? There are a few things that planned to happen. Uh, of one, I think um, maybe Prince Charles is going to become king and um, United Nations Peace Day. Maybe a, I don't know, solar event. Uh, some say maybe if you listen to the German or financial minister, he said that well, it will be a day that um, you'll remember where you were. Although some people say, no, that ain't what happened. They, It's all psyops or something. But that date is popping around. And then um, I saw a comment. Um, someone said, Gina, honey, have you heard of the Creative Society? And I said, no, I haven't. I didn't hear of it until uh, or three days ago or whenever he'd made his first comment. And he wanted me to look into it. And I really just glanced at it the other day. And then someone wrote in the comments section that there's going to be a conference with the Creative Society. And um, it's going to be done live. You may, you've probably never heard of them. So I've been down in my basement. And um, there's so many rumors about that going around too. Some are good, some are not. Um, hello, everyone. You feel upside down in, in a right side up world and upside down world. So I, I listened to this thing from two representatives of the Creative Society. They're young adults. They are probably around their uh, probably 20s, 30s. Very, very, yeah, around that frame. And they started uh, a few years ago trying to... Um, form, I don't know how to put it, just form this group without any grants from anybody or nothing. And it, I think it started over in Europe somewhere. And they're having this conference on the 24th uh, live. And some people are saying, oh, they're going to announce the, um, the new world leader or something like that. I don't know what they're going to announce, but I listened to them, and I they're um, wanting to live in a world where there is no war. People get along together. Everybody gets along good, and we, are, we live in peace and harmony. No more war, no more nothing. Uh, and they had this uh, one guy from the BBC... He was a news editor. I don't know what type it was. But he said there's so much negative news in the world. So much negative. And the news media, uh, the role that it's playing in this negativeness, it's really more or less, you don't hear no positiveness. You don't hear no positiveness at all when it comes to the news. They want to focus on the negative. And they more or less want to stop that. They want to make this world a better place. They want to encourage people to be creative and um, speak about the change or something that um, we ourselves personally can do in the world. This is, this is me just listening while I'm straightening up my garage. I listened to probably an hour or so while I straighten up my workbench and try to organize I didn't get done with my garage, but I thought, well, it's good. Uh, people from all walks of life coming together and all of that to make the world a better place, to get away, to not focus on the negative, focus on the positive and get rid of those things that divide and stuff like that, more or less, despite your, um, your background, your religious background, your cultural background, despite anything like that, just come together and work together. That's what they want. That It's like a utopian society. It is. And I'm all about love. I'm all about peace. And I, I think we all can agree we want to live in a world where there's love and there is peace. Okay, we do. We don't like the, the turmoil. We don't like the um, 
the division that is being purposely sewn into society itself. Uh, we don't like it. We don't. Uh, because it's not wrong. Because it's like it's, it's something is hell-bent on destroying human society. And the media plays a very, very large role in that, you all. They do. They control. I think I, I, think I read this morning. It was a little Twitter thing. BlackRock owns 90% of the media. Now, whatever BlackRock is, I've heard of it, but I've never really investigated BlackRock or anything like this. But the 24th, somebody wrote that in there. They're going to have a live conference and stuff like that. And it's this thing called the, it's this group of people, the society of, what is it? What does it say? Um, creative Society. Okay, I don't know what's going to come with that meeting. I think they're probably just going to try to raise awareness, and then already there is a negative, a negative spin being sewn into it. Okay, a negative spin. Um, we know the power that's at work on this earth today. We do, and it's um, it's it's not good, you all. Oh yeah, there's something else that I, if you wanted to hear about it from Gina's point of view, from my, I may not be. But this is just my perception, how I received what was being said. Live in a world where um, free medical care, free housing or something, something about, I don't know what it was, at the end of their little video that they put on there. Um, salvation can only be found in our uniting with one another. That's what they said. Salvation can only be found in the unification of humanity, more or less. So if you're a person who has a religious background, that might rub you the wrong way. It really might. I'm <laughs> just saying. Um, their concept, their dreams of a, a peaceful world and stuff like that, it's good to have a peaceful world. But I don't know how they're going to get to it. I really don't. But that's okay, you all. I'm not going to really say nothing negative about it because I really didn't hear anything negative. Although there is negative things being on that. So the person who said, Gina, could you please look into that? Well, I listened to one video. I did. And it was started a couple years ago with no grants or nothing like that. It's like a, um, I don't know, it's like a... A utopian world, and they talked about 10 years is not a long time to create such a society uh, to where, I guess, you get the media behind you, too, so the media can't spread their negativeness or anything like that. Other than that, you all, that's it. Yeah. Um, yeah, they got to get positive morals. Well, the British news guy... They asked his input on things. What did he see with the media and stuff? And he told them how it is very difficult. And then he was talking about all these other aspects. But he said, I will not get on morals. He skipped that altogether, the moral part, uh, when they were talking to him. You are, that's, that's going to be a tough, that would be a tough battle, a tough hill to climb to get the top of that hill right there. Yes, it will. Ah, oh, didn't know that. I'm thinking Black Rock is a... I was thinking Black Rock was a... like a defense contractor, a military-like thing, something like that. Um. Oh, Susan, uh, Christine, my honey, you gotta go. You go on. You go on. The 24th in Europe is still the... <coughs> now, why did my throat have to have an itch in it when I'm reading that? The 24th is our 23rd. That's right. Uh, the Eastern countries and the 23rd. Three companies that owns the world, literally. Okay, thank you. So, um, there was something else that I read. And um, it's about Egypt. It's like the military 
runs practically everything in Egypt now. They run the stores. They run the, like the grocery stores. All of this kind of stuff where you think regular private companies would, but no, the military is in complete control. I think of over half the country. I may be wrong, but I was reading something about that and they said, maybe they're just trying to solidify their strength. No, you're not gonna get me. You go find your own place. Talking to that bee. That's right. Um, control, yes. Control and power. Um, well, with this creative society, they said humans, we the people should be the ones who decides what's best for us. They focused on we the people. They really did. We're, we're, we are who matters, the people. The livelihoods of people should take priority over everything else. I think that's their main platform. People matter. And it doesn't matter where you come from in any walk of life. But I think the positiveness is good because um, we all know that negativeness sells a lot. It sells a whole lot. And um, it's wild. Yes. Black Rock owns most everything. You all, this is, it, it is so nice outside. It really is. My husband's in there. My husband's in the house. He does the floors. He takes that, um, takes the vacuum. He likes doing it. He takes the vacuum and vacuums up everywhere. And then he takes a little thing and he does that. And then he'll mop it. The whole house. It takes him a couple hours. But you know what? He's only doing what he saw his dad doing because his dad does that too and his dad always has. And um, I don't have a problem with it. So when he does that, I have to go somewhere, either up there in the loft area or down in the basement or out and about, you all, while he does all of that. So that's great. It really is. Um, uh, 916 is 616, text identify 616. Ah, oh, you are, uh, yeah. So on the 24th of September, there's a lot of things that supposed to be happening. Um, there is, and I think if you all have heard anything, put it in the comment section because I, I have no idea. Oh no, you all, no, they're, see they're doing it to me. They're cutting my connection. Could you put in the comment section what you've heard that is supposed to happen on the 24th of September because they don't want us to talk about this. And I was trying to say what someone was going to say and they cut my connection the first time. Can you see me, Susan? Okay, can you see me? They don't want me to say it. Susan, am I cutting out? Do I have to stand in one place? Okay, you can see me? You can hear me? All right. Can you hear me without it? Cut, but you can you hear my voice? There's no. So I was going to say, could you please put in the comment section, you all, this is important because I guess they don't want you, whoever they are, they, they don't want us to know what all's being rumored to happen on the 24th. They don't want us to know what's going to happen on the 24th. Anything that you've heard that's supposed to happen, that's going around the rumor mill, could you please put it in the comment? Okay, I'm going to stand still. Someone also alluded, when I said the word alluded, over there, that's when I first started, alluded that it's going to be a global crisis day and there's going to be a live um, conference from the Creative Society. And um, oh, that's on the 24th. Someone said, alluded maybe on the 24th, they're going to announce who the Antichrist will be. That's what somebody said in the comments. So that was uh, going around the rumor mill on the YouTube, the comment, because I saw it this morning. I thought, I not heard that. 
um, no more cash flow. Yes, yeah, somebody wrote, okay, no more cash flow. Yes, yeah, someone said on 924, someone said on 924, the banks will be closed. But we've been hearing banks close for a long, long, long time. We have. Oh, they were also focusing on the quantum financial system, quantum, the quantum, quantum stuff. Something had to do with quantum. Um, and I'm not one to really sit and listen to things and stuff like that because I'm not doing my own thing, you all. I am. Fakery. Oh, wow. Germany warned their citizens to be on the lookout. It was the financial minister, the financial minister in Germany, right? A solar flare on the 24th. Well, this is this is important to get all those the rumors that are circulating around. Thank you, Norman. Um, yeah, all the rumors that are circulating around, so we know what's all being said, and if what does happen and what doesn't happen. Uh, then we'll know. We'll know. And that's good to know. It really is. And this is nothing negative. It isn't. It's just the gathering of information. Uh, the rumor mill information, you all. That's right. We can gather it. And we can see what pans out. Because we ain't got time to go research everything that's being said. Um, that's right, you all. Oh, my goodness gracious. Seven, Evan. Oh, seven. Se Evan. Nothing will happen. See, nothing happened with the railroad strike. They put that on hold because that was supposed to be a big to-do. The transportation was going to come to a halt. On Friday, They the media rubbed it in. It went through all types of media. It's going to disruption to the supply chain, and they ran with it. They ran with it. Um, it's good to be prepared but they left out the fact that Congress could have a, you know, they could intervene. So it looks like they came up with a transitional thing. But it's delayed by a, a couple weeks until they tally all the votes from the unions to see if they agree with what was being offered. So they, they bought themselves some time for some strange reason. Yeah. The railroad... Um, Oh, is the strike back on, Harold, honey? I really want to take my shoes off, but I won't. I don't, well, I, I wash my own clothes, so I guess my socks can get dirty if I want them to. Ah, uh, salute, uh, Taha Links. The freight charges now go up. Well, FedEx. FedEx, their stock plummeted. Um, that's that's what's the big thing. Their stock their stock plummeted. I think I read that maybe the company had a a change of ownership or something, and they led the people to believe that everything was fine. And then boom, that means they're going to have to close around ninety nine stores or ninety nine places. You all, um, all of it. Yeah. Denver International, wow. Um, what country raised their interest rates to 75%? You all tell me which one it was. Because my mother was telling me about that today. Some country raised their interest rate 75% to combat inflation. Uh, and that's a lot. That means you can't afford nothing. Everybody's priced out of stuff. Um, that's right. Um, Malcolm, hello there. That's right. The third temple is coming soon. The stock market crash, you all. If you heard anything on the rumor mill for the 24th, a lot of us don't have, we don't get around to all the places that you all get around. Literally, there's people on here from all walks of life who have lots and lots of different interests. And I'm sure the places that you go, you hear things from a different angle and a different perspective. If you could put on here what you know is supposed to happen according to the rumor mills. Uh, they're not fact yet because they haven't happened. So now they're just hearsay. 
um, because you heard it. You heard somebody say something, so it's hearsay. That's right. Um, ah, I see. Yeah, oh, thank you, last one, 207. It was 660%. Oh, my gosh. So, I don't know what that would equate to if you had to purchase something. Like, if you had to go buy a gallon of milk or a loaf of bread, if the price of that loaf of bread went up 660%, that's astronomical. But then the interest rates... Uh, I don't know what the interest rates are now. If you have, like, credit card or something. I think when my husband went into the military back in 83, um, that was a better place for him to go, he said, than because he couldn't find a job nowhere. I think the interest rates back then were 18% on credit cards back in 83. I think they're probably up to around 26% now. Um... Redacted YouTube says he thinks it will be something. Oh, yeah. Well, what's today? Today, the 18th? Is it, is it the 18th today? I'm losing track of time just like everybody else. Uh, everything is running together. Uh, a scare event coming. Um, okay, so 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Six days away. Um, Saturday. <gasps> oh, I'm not going nowhere on Saturday. I'm not. <laughs> I was going to go somewhere. I was, but I'm not. Because my husband visits his um, parents on Saturday. And then I thought, well, I get that day to myself. <laughs> uh, to finish things around the house outside. So, yeah, Saturday... Oh, did I freeze you all? Uh, love you in the Philippines, Joel. Let me see. 550 oh, basis points equate to 75%. Ah, doing it on the fly. Wow. I see. Oh, no. I hope not. Um, drop a drop a deuce. To, Oh, Susan, honey, thank you. Thank you. Inflation. So if you are just tuning in, uh, we're talking about the things that would happen. We know that I guess there's a coronation or something on the 24th in England. Uh, United Nations Peace Day. Something's supposed to go boom. Um, there's going to be a live global conference from the Creative Society. Boom. Um, somebody says they're going to announce the Antichrist. Somebody says it's going to be a stock market crash. Thank you, um, Zuzana Tusk. Some people say that um, there's all kinds of stuff. It's hearsay because we hear it say. So it's circulating on the Internet in all these circles. So this, this would be a good video if you wanted to see what would happen. Just go down through the comment section because people are putting uh, what they've heard personally from the sites that they visited and it doesn't even have to be YouTube they could even read a site to see what's being said that way we can tell who's telling the truth who had the good information and who didn't that that really is a good thing who had the good information on here that came true then maybe perhaps that's who we should listen to if we hear something that somebody wrote and it literally did pan out they got some inside intel, is what they've got. Um, won't be stoke a oh, stock market crash because it's a Saturday. Um, the Gesera Nessera literal milk tells a flea if free energy cute. I can't say all that words, Larmad. That's a lot of words together. Um, uh, love your neighbor, you'll prevail. That's right. Oh, Angela, you've heard that too. You all hit that do stock, stock button. <laughs> hit that thumbs up button, you all, because we want to know what all is going around. 
Um, thank you, Zuzana. Um, Julie Green Ministries, um, Prophecies Fulfilled. Um, we have too many angry elites. Oh, wow. Um, the Fourth Commandments, F Exodus, Sparks. The Third Advocate. I don't know what the Third Advocate means. His, his position... September the 24th, the third advocate. Um, a lot of banking stuff could go down for sure. People could wake up Monday and broke. Um, just like the... Was it the Elron scandal? Scandal Was that... There was, a, there was a company when I lived in Hawaii. Was it the Elron company? It went bankrupt. And people lost all their money. This is back in early 2000. I can't remember the... Enron, thank you, Enron. That was horrible. They worked there all their life, and boom, everything is gone. It can happen. It can happen. The Enron. I'm thinking... <laughs> I'm thinking Lord of the Rings, Elron. Is that his name on Lord of the Rings? Of the um, elves... Or maybe that's a place, Elron. Something big is coming. Oh, Enron. Yeah. Okay, you uh a solar flash event. We've heard a solar flash event. Um, I don't think anybody's predicting the rapture. So because I haven't seen that come up here. I think that has come and gone. Yeah. EBS Emergency Broadcast System. Um, uh, an arrest. Yeah, you all give that thumbs up. We're almost at, we're almost at, we're almost at 950 people watching. We are. Um, the Prague. Oh, the Purge. <gasps> Is that Saturday when that's coming to release some of the prisoners? Um, the knowing, yes. Um, oh, it's the 18th. It's Spanish Heritage Month. Month. Um, the Creative Society. Well, there, I think there's two different types of Creative Society. Maybe um, they they um, there could be two types because I didn't know which one. One. It says blacks. Latinos, minorities, disabled, small businesses or something. I don't know you, all, but there's um there's too many things happening. Too much rumors. Too much stuff going around. They what? The U.S. banks declared bankruptcy last week, September the 4th through the 10th. I didn't hear that. Um, everybody needs to stock up on food for at least three days. That's good. Three days. Uh, Denver International. Um, it has been private. Yeah. Ow. All right, you all. Uh, we've, um, if you're just tuning in, there's been a lot of talk of something happening on September the 24th. And some of it is good. Well, I don't know how good it would be. Um, there's a lot of things that could happen, and it wouldn't be very good because it would have a worldwide effect no matter what it is. And I, I don't know if it would bring about a positive change. It would probably bring, by, bring about a negative change. But um, I do believe that even if a negative change happens in your life, good can come out of it. It's like when something bad happens, you think, I, I wish that would have never happened. But then you can look back, and then because that happened, 
things were able to somehow turn around for the better for you. I've seen it. I've witnessed it myself. So good can come out of bad that has been done. It can. Not that I want bad to happen to nobody. I don't. Adapt. That's right. I heard about that too, A eh, Monica? My uh, one friend was on the Facebook and they said this is the first time they got on there and they never seen nothing about it. The first time, which is strange. Um, you think it's all fake news. Yeah, I'm glad you put that there. There is a lot of fake news out there. If someone writes in this comment section of what they heard was happening, we need to um, go through the comment and find out who heard it and it actually came true because wherever their source was, they had a connection with somebody who had insight inside. That's right. Um, nothing will happen and it never does. Yeah. Well, we should always be the best person that we can be. I don't want another one of that, Wolfie. Yeah. January. He's taken out the bad. Um, Superman is going to take over the world. Now, I don't want no zombie apocalypse. Now, we don't want that. We don't. We don't want zombie apocalypse. You feel you should take your money out of the bank. And if you don't, then you're stupid. That This is not good. There are people who have done that. They always say that um, it's good to have three months worth of pay in your savings. I don't know who has that much spare money to have three months worth of pay in your savings. I think that um, it's good to have like a three-day supply of food and stuff. You know, the oh, wait, 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 wait. There was something else, remember? With the free bug out bags with Denver International Airport. They gave out free bug out bags on September the 10th. And they're giving free bug out bags on September the 24th in one of the coffee, coffee, the college's um, break rooms or something like that. Free bug out bags. It had like um, some first aid stuff. It had some crow. It had um, a first aid thing, a basic first aid kit, a flashlight, toilet paper, maybe some napkins. That's Denver. Colorado uh, for the 24th I thought of all the places you got it on a college campus and it would be a perfect place for the college students to come and get them that bag the young adults and uh, so that kind of coincides with something happening in Denver um, 1,000 yeah the dollars will have zero worth um yeah we know that money can literally become worthless when you look at pictures throughout history where people have, is it the, the Weimar, Weimar Republic where they had wheelbarrows full of their money and they were using it to heat their homes. Um, Denver. Yeah. It doesn't matter according to the Great Depression, yeah. Um, coffee and tobacco, that's what I heard. That's, that is one of the things because it's nice to have a nice cup of coffee. And if you have someone who smokes cigarettes, if they do not get their cigarettes, they become very, very agitated. And they're gonna get very stressed out and they're gonna make somebody else very stressed out too if they don't have cigarettes. I, I, told, I told someone, well, what if you, someone had some cigarettes? Because they said, I don't like sell stale cigarettes. I said, well, if you really wanted a cigarette and you couldn't find any, you wouldn't care whether that cigarette was stale or not. You wouldn't. Um, and they wouldn't, you all. Tommy Truthful says the nine, wow, on the Golden Gate Bridge. Susan, honey. Wow. That's great. 
Well, they say that you should have some Jack Daniels or something on hand that you could barter too, because um, that would do it. Um, yeah, they probably will. You're going to smoke a bit, CJ? 14th of January. Oh, I've never heard of Tommy Truthful. Well, this, this right here, this... This comment section is for anyone to write what they heard would be happening on the 24th of September. It doesn't matter where it came from. We're gathering information, you all, and there's a lot of things, and there's a lot of places that people go, and they hear a lot of things, and um, I think we should put it here. That way we know who had the inside knowledge. That's right. Um... You got seeds. You quit. Yeah, quit your smoking. I'll get you a patch or something. Um, we have until September the 30th. What's happening on September the 30th? 5G switch is getting turned on the EBS system. Um, oh my gosh. Cigarettes to $25. Did you find, wait, let me see, my for de gizmos. Did you find out about the bug that sent that you to terror? Um, no, they said it was an invasive species from China and that they were, um, you should kill them. But I don't like killing. I wouldn't want to kill it. It's too pretty. But I, I wouldn't want it around me. It's some kind of invasive species. And there was, um, there was a lot of comments uh, saying what it was, but I can't remember. But it was a really pretty bug. It was a it was an insectoid. It looks like it was man-made. Um, the Pope demands. Oh, that's right, Chris Miller. On the thirtieth of September, the Pope demands all the money be returned to the Vatican. We did a video on that. That was the deadline. That that also played a role that something was coming. Why does he want, someone said it's because the financial system is going to go to something else. Digital, crypto, something. Um, the stock up on your weed, medicine, and pet food. Um, something on The rumors say the main reason is shut down for the energy. <gasps> oh, wow. And internet and is the switch to digital. Well, they'll have to do it. If the machines, well, then you can't use your, your credit cards. If it, it goes down, you'll have to use, you'll be forced to use your cash and then if you're forced to use your cash for a while, that will bring a lot of the cash that's in circulation back. They'll be able to get a lot of that cash out of circulation if they do that. Only cash because the internet or the electricity is down, you all. Um, you should see Bo Pony, biblical and analytical. Um, he was right about a row versus on the 24th. Um, a false flag and an EMP. Well, all it takes is um, for a country to have the EMP fly right over a certain metropolitan area or a certain area. They could even have two because they do have satellites that are retrofitted with weapons, various types of weapons on them that can do such a thing, you all, to literally knock out the power. So if you're in your car and you're driving and uh, all of a sudden your car stops and dies and you see other cars stopping, there's gonna be a lot of accidents. You'll know that an EMP has occurred. Or if your cell phone um, all of a sudden goes off, you know that an EMP occurred. Uh, because it's going to literally, I think it's going to blow all the fuses in your car and stuff. Um, there's no fear here. 
Um, people watch Ismael Perez, Ismael, uh, Denver, you'd vote for Seek the Lord. Um, yes, because worth, wealth is worthless at times. Let's see, Black Moon Night on the 25th of Sunday. Um, someone said the hospital in Ohio last night at 3 a.m. when I was on there, it, uh, the power, let me get this. Oh, that's me, you are. Sorry, I was supposed to, I bent down to pick this up to make a wish. It came out of nowhere. I sent it on its way. That's right. The power went off and they didn't have a backup generator at some ho a hospital in Ohio. Um, Taiwan, yeah, we heard that this morning. Uh, yeah. We won't have to pay taxes. Oh, thank you. It's really nice out. We got big chestnut trees down there behind the pond and uh, some of the chestnuts are as big as golf balls but the deer like to eat them they love them and it's good for the animals to eat it helps them with their nutrition you gotta have something it has to have something to do with denver that's right they're handing out the bug out bags you covered the 20 with the precious blood of christ that's right. The moon was um, spot on. Um, yeah, they are. They're really good. Chestnuts open, roasting on an open fire, and they're 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 hard to work with, you know, because you've got to um, score them, but like a little scoring with a little scoring knife. Then you bake them in your oven, and then while they're still warm, you have to peel the shell off but they have they taste like chicken they do they taste really good when they're fresh out of the oven that's a lot of work we have some last year but anyway you all this is about if you've heard anything that's going to happen on september the 24th i'm just going to reiterate it could you please it doesn't matter where it came from how wild it may seem can you please put it in the comment section um because we need to have this from all points of view, all the predictions, all the hearsay that's going around to see which one was right and which ones were wrong. Um, yeah, and don't 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 think nothing about it. If you think, well, people are going to think I'm silly. No, no, we don't think you're silly because we need to know. We really do. Yes, you all, please give this video a thumbs up. We got 484 thumbs up and 1,214 people watching. Uh, it is really pretty down there. The backyard looks really nice, too, because it got lots of wild flowers for the butterflies um, to perch on and stuff. It's nice. I am going to be going, you all. I need to get back down there to the basement, but I, I wanted to come up here. And ask about that. Yeah. Um, their source is the people. Massive waves hit the east and west coast with the biggest. Well, I haven't heard that yet, but they've been saying a big one is coming. Um, the little shop of horrors. An event that encountered a deadly threat with humans' existence. Um, the movie Tomorrowland Disaster Strikes on the 3rd, 23rd. I did not hear anybody say an alien invasion. I did not. I'm going to say it. An alien invasion or um, extraterrestrials, the UFOs will be out there in the public for everybody to see. I'll say it. Even though I haven't heard it, I thought I'd throw that in there too, you all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious. Because they're up there also. That's right. No, I didn't freeze. 
Project Blue Beam. Now I'm talking about extraterrestrial, interdimensional beings, uh, the UFOs that are up in the sky, uh, the interdimension, interdimensional ships that are there, and the ships that are cloaked in the clouds. All of it. A uh, flares and an XRP or EMP. Yeah, the ships will show themselves. Um, like. Ah, uh, you are that hummingbird was just standing there. Uh, they're fighting over who gets to eat the hummingbird food. They're very um, protective. Even little birds like that, they guard their own. That was um, Jupiter's coming. A galactic war coming. Um, hello there in France. Um, a rapture event. Well, we do know one thing for certain, and it, 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 ha it has been verified that the Pope does want all the funds from the Vatican uh, all around the world brought back to the Vatican uh, in their, in their, um, the liquidity, I think, and their, all their money brought back by the 30th of September. And um, even though it didn't read that in their new constitution that they had written, I think it was five months ago or something, he told them that it's not what you read, it's more or less, he's telling them what they read is not what he what it says. He's telling them how to interpret it himself. Bring the money back. Even though they were confused because their new constitution or whatever did not say that, he's telling them that's what it means. Bring it back. They want the money. Um, he gets nothing. They got, it, they got plenty. They got plenty of gold. They got it all, all around the world in their big churches, all along the walls, the altars, underneath inside the catacombs it's everywhere all the precious artworks and everything you all they they got more money more gold more precious jewels and stuff than they could ever ever need more and to what to what how's that going to save them really how's that going to benefit them uh, when you have so much gold so much wealth at your disposal. You'd never be able to sell it in your whole entire lifetime or thousands and thousands of lifetimes. Um, a major CME warning, the end of time, uh, Mercury retrograde, we're here now. Things that were stolen, that's right. Things that were stolen, get out of the stock market. Um, the Galactics and the Dracos don't stop um, the dawn. I'm not stopping until it's my time, uh, despite what comes against me, okay? that That's how I feel in my spirit. And when it's my time, then I'll stop. It's not my time. Even though I'm in my fourth year, I'm still on here uh, for a reason. The son of perdition is coming. Um, I've heard that. Stay strong, everyone. Um, get your baby supplies. Your babies need um, stuff. And if you have to um, have cloth diapers, you can do it. You can wash it out if you got some water. All of it. He's never mentioned in the Bible. That's right. The Large Hadron Collider. Um, something is on the planet. A, a long carbon... Oh, as long as the carbon is on the planet. Uh, remember when I did the video about the big shadow that was at, um, by the Red Sea? It was a great, a great big elongated dark shadow, and I said it was like a ship because the ISS showed it. And as soon as the ISS got near it, it cut the feed by the Red Sea. It cut the feed totally. And there was another dark shadow beside that and it was like a ship was like cloaked and i've wondered is the ship the shadow for the shadow to be below the iss 
I wonder if that shadow was a cloaked ship. And then I had read up about Egypt, how they were fortifying everything with their military was into everything, controlling practically anything and everything that they could up to half the country. Um, so what if there are ships there, you all, and it's near the Gulf of Aden where there are UFOs that are purported to be seen. Um, yeah. The, yes, the clouds have energy. They have beings in them. The Antarctica. Um, thank you. So there's a lot of people who have commented, a lot of you have commented on what you heard has going to be happening around the 24th of September. I've, I've commented at the beginning on what I heard and what I found out about the Creative Society. Uh, they want to have a better world for people. They want the people to, they feel the people are the most important, uh, but there's a lot of negativeness going on in the world, a lot of negative media, more or less being shoved down people's throats. Um, and of course we have, um, Prince Charles, King Charles Coronation, um, the Pope's money coming back. He is not his money, but he wants the money on the 30th. Some people say stock market. Some people say Denver, Colorado. Um, banks could fail. Banks could fail and all of that. You all, I am going to go. Now I need to get me a drink of water. But thank you so much for coming on here. Thank you, uh, moderators. Thank you all for your comments. Please put your comments. I encourage you to. I want to read what all is being said, what all is going around. Yeah, Susan, honey, there is. Build the arcs. Um, wormwood will make its appearance. You know, I have a, a plant in my yard called wormwood, and it is, it's like, um, it's like a medicinal-like plant. Uh, you're also very welcome. You're very, very welcome. Zombies, no zombies. Oh, you started something. Don't go. <laughs> Stacy, honey. A 1316, a 1361, you all. Yeah, we did start something. We did. Um, that's right. No divide and conquer. That's right. I, I hope there is no divide and conquer. I would love that. I, I would love to live, live, live in peace and harmony. Uh, and see the darkness and the evil banished forever. That'd be great because right now we don't have balance in this world. There is no balance. Um, I know there's a lot of people in here. Uh, a, tell, a ton of it. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sleepy right now. I got myself wound up. That's right. Um, that's right. No, I don't think you're going to see that right now. I don't. I am going to go, you all. You're so very welcome. And um, with that being said, hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello. From my heart to yours, love you. Have a wonderful rest of your day, you all. And um, it's going to be quite interesting to see if and what happens on the 24th and even as the days approach and even afterwards, especially on the 30th of September when the money's supposed to be back at the Vatican. Have a wonderful afternoon, you all. Thank you so much. Love you.